uh, they were a different team, obviously, than, than they are right now. They made themselves available to reporters and photographers. For some athletes, the dance card was completely full, but others were sidelined because they weren't media darlings. I'm not getting that many interviews. See, them guys with the podiums is the ones getting all the interviews. I'm just sitting here basking in the sun, about to go to sleep. We've just been hanging out by a trash can over there, me and Rhett, and uh, <laughs> having a good time with it. But you know, it's kind of a zoo. No doubt about that. And you have to wonder exactly who is looking at whom. Some reporters were wannabe jocks, and some football players were playing journalists. I mean, it's, uh, you know, the sporting event of the year. You know, the whole world's watching, so it's, uh, everyone has to be there to cover the big story. Hey, journalism's a contact sport, <laughs> just like football. It's a monster that we keep feeding, and as we feed it, it gets bigger and bigger. The Super Bowl has gone global. Reporters from around the world are participating in Super Bowl 29. What do you think about this game? <laughs> oh, this is one of the most important games of the season. This What's your take on all this and why? Uh, it is essentially uh, an American phenomenon, but uh, the interest is much greater than that, um, particularly in, uh, in the UK um, and other parts of Europe, Italy and Germany particularly. Too, too much, much hype? Too much hype. <laughs> Do you understand it? Yeah, I cannot understand why so many people <laughs> come to you. So yes, it's a surprise for me because uh, this is the first time I covered this uh, this event. Uh -huh. But uh, I, I think it's very very interesting, no? This is media day. The reporters love it, the football players hate it. And you can bet there will be more than one cliche heard here today. There's only one game left and we're it. Oh, there's no pressure on us. There's none whatsoever on us. For some in the media, it's not the cliches that they worried about. It was something else. The writers are the worst because they don't understand what we do, so they don't usually have any sympathy for what we do. So they're like this with the pens and trying to get right in. And then it's TV because I'm female and I'm short, so I usually have to stand there and do this with the best of them. Media day isn't easy for either side, but it is tradition. And for a lot of people, this isn't just about hype. This really is more than just a football game.